Yeah, you're right, Chumro. The first thing I thought when loading this up is, isn't this just like hidden through time? Or was it hidden something or other? Some sort of hidden object game that we had in the weekly one-shot before, which was good, but a little sore on the eyes, just so full of detail. I suspect this one will be much the same. Anyway, this is the second of our Patreon games today, Labyrinth City. From a glance, it looks like a hidden object game, but we'll see what it transpires to become. Because it loves using the word maze around here. Let's start a new game and see what it has to say for itself. I just noticed the Maze Castle there. Isn't always the shortest way from A to B. This old saying will prove true in the adventure that follows. Everything seems quiet in Opera City. That's where Pierre, the expert maze detective, lives. But beware of appearances, beware of still waters and crackling fire, because at this precise moment, his friend Carmen rocks up in trouble. Pierre, Pierre, somebody stole the stone, Pierre, she says. The maze stone. Mr. X is the one behind it. I just came from the museum. He replaced the stone with a letter for you. Dear worthless detective, I now have the stone, the one that turns everything into mazes. I challenge you to get it back. Are you up to it? Signed, Mr. X. P.S. Ah, 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 ah. With not a minute to lose, they race to the museum. It's total chaos inside. So someone earlier was asking, are Patreon games just like punishment games? Well, yes to format, and, you know, sometimes they're not just punishment games, and sometimes you get the prequel to Mr. Maze. Okay, this is a museum. The Maze Stone was exhibited. Let's go and query the location. Holy moly, this game hurts to look at. There's so much going on already. Oh, I don't know, Dark Young. I just don't know. Only one of them got a bullet through the head. Democratically. Oh yeah, Baron, we're gonna need your help to find all of the French puns. As we all know, Quebecian French is the same as Parisian French, right? We have the hands full, it's absolute chaos, never seen such chaos. We're at the wrong time, we're the maze expert, we're at the right time. The director is waiting. How suspicious is this director? It looks so much like that hidden through time game. It wasn't hidden through time, was it? Right, I, I have to check, what was that hidden game? It was called Hidden Folks, although I did actually pick up its sequel, Hidden Through Time. I forget if I played it or not. Wait, why even try to remember? Steam knows these things for me. Outsource thinking. Wow, I played it for 46 minutes. And it wasn't color. Uh, okay. I guess over we go. I can lay my hands on this thing. I'm a ninja, I collect stars. Take a good look at me, learn a thing or two. Secret of moving without moving. What star? No, I do not see a star. I can't be the only one that has very sore eyes looking at this game. And I don't know what it is. Oh, maybe he means this star. I'll go and grab that. You're actually looking at the game? Yes. Believe it or not, I am. All looks very French now, doesn't it? 
You cheated, you used your f Yes, yes I did. There was nothing in the rules against cheating. I'm, I'm really wondering if this was made by the same folks that made Hidden Folks and Hidden Through Time. Somebody with a lot of scribbles to put to use. Digital, digital. Where's Wally? That's what this is. I think it was Waldo in uh, the New World, but Wally in the UK. Just break these things off the walls. It, it is all sorts of pandemonium in here. I get the feeling this wasn't all the work of Mr. X, and the X is short for Maze. I think this would be well suited for a tablet. You can take pictures at a museum, right? Of course you can, why would you not be able to? This is, this is bizarro world, this is. What are we doing here? Might as well grab the stars while I'm at it. God knows what they have for me, but I want them. The red controller circle is very distracting. I'm glad I played with Wazd. I suppose it... Mm, Wazd feels weird. Because this is up and down. And... Yeah, that doesn't feel right at all. No, I'd rather use the the circular movement here. And yeah, I was defeated defeated at going for that star. I can see the way now, but I no longer care so much. Hello, director. The stone's powers are formidable. There's danger, but what's worse, your career will be over. That blasted Mr. X. Wait, isn't that him over there? Couldn't someone go and grab him? Someone that isn't me? Someone who's much closer? Hey. Hey. No, no time to talk to you. You're far too French for me. That East versus West fighting. <laughs> Western RPG versus JRPG. I got to get to my wedding, but I'm lost. Okay, they're lost as well. This this is all very bizarre. So this, can I... Okay, I thought it might pause all the action on the screen and give me some visual respite, but no. pick up the the loo roll thing no mm. isn't that the tablet that must be the maze tablet thing I'm a jigger I don't know what to make of that but I'm sure we don't have to let's just go and Grab Mr. X and call it a day. Such cute wee animations. I do actually quite like this simplistic, cartoony art style. Very befitting the situation that we're in.
Whoa. Yeah, I'll leave you guys to that. Oh yeah, it's it's not too far off Tintin. I enjoyed watching not well no, I think I did watch a bit of Tintin, but I also read a bit of Tintin. Didn't have that much of either, sadly. I also played the Super Nintendo game Tintin. It sucked really, really bad. I don't recommend anyone try it. You took your time, I had to wait ages. So it's the stone you want, it's there, take it, ha ha ha. Pierre and Carmen, confront Mr. X. The stone is within reach, but the rat has a trick up his sleeve. On his signal, a horde of monkeys hurtles down the stairs. They're super cute, but angry and out of control. Oh, what a rascal. What a rotten scumbag. Using the chaos as a distraction, he escapes at the last minute and is lost in the city suburb. More ridiculous, not less. I wonder if we could get an answer from Twink Fox Asher exactly what possessed them to put forward these two games in particular. Man, this, this is painful to look at. Okay, let's go, go, go. We need to navigate our way to... The person over by the table there, and I don't think it'll be so easy. Alright, I'm gonna try wasting for a bit. It's muckle uncomfortable either way with the controls. Italian drivers in France here. I never really understood why people go driving around in major cities. Like, it's clearly nothing but congestion. What are you trying to achieve? Maybe I can just climb on in? No? Okay. It's bizarre. What a bizarre game. I just wanted to bring in some puzzling and amazing game- Oh, don't you start with that. Until we get some held in voice acting, is this really something that could be compared to Mr. Mays? I'm actually a little bit looking forward to Mr. Mays 2. Like, what can Mr. Mays 2 still bring to the table? We're not the police, we're just fancy dress. <laughs> For a laugh, they'll attack a real bank. Alright, hit up the fishmonger then. Oh, that's not right at all. It's just someone dressed up as Mr. X. But what if it's Mr. X in that disguise? There's only one way to find out if Heldon's in the game. Beat the game. Watch the credits. Try and pick out his name. Hmm. Surely he would go in as Guy Incognito and wouldn't put in his real name of Heldon UK. Can I not break my way into the bank myself?
This is beyond bizarre. Very generous of you to provide me with that hint. I don't think it's a horror game, Rabbi Leg, but it would be an interesting twist if it were to become one. I've got a horror game slated soon enough, though. Gonna give Yuppie Psycho a go on the weekly one shot. <laughs> I've got a letter for you and I read it because I was curious. French mailman, there's something else. Right. What is this? Mr. X trying to figure out their, uh, their costume? Ah, okay. So Mr. X has some kind of weird mask thing on. He's not Dora the Explorer. He decided against being Clown. He's not The Mask. He's wearing... What do you even call that? Bandana? Stripy t-shirt? Possibly some coveralls that don't quite cover all. And he decided against a flamboyant wedding dress. I assume I have to find him in this mess. Now that I know what he might be up to. But perhaps there are other clues that tell me whereabouts he's going to be. Can't pop the balloons, so this game is not roller coaster tycoon levels of good. Am I making progress around the back here? Yeah, yeah, I am. Go in for a haircut? No. What a cute game. Bizarre, but very cute. Is this a memory thing? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm really bad at those, but that went well. Short-term memory games. Far from my forte. Okay. Who am I looking for again? Exactly what's going on between these two? What were their names? Pierre and something or other. This and Key G, Dark Young. I have got a long list of weekly one shots, mind. Alright, who's this LARPer? Reflecting on it, putting these together must have been a whole lot of work. Although I, uh, I reckon once you're done with it, you could crank out these kinds of pictures, or like each character in just a couple of minutes. Quick sketch, basic colouring, put a filter over them to get some kind of effect, like this guy's muddy top. Uh, but then you have to animate them. But it's fairly basic stickman style animation. Um, paper doll style animation. 
Well, what do I know? I'm no artist. It's forbidden not to smile during the carnival, madam. What do we tickle her? Carnival day in the town, they're dancing in the streets. Mr. X turned things upside down, then fled, not leaving his deets. I assume deets is details. Clearly not Mr. X. Just some innocent purple carnival goer. Ah, Bavarians. Better make her escape while we can. loss of the significance of these collectibles but maybe it's just collectible for collectibles sake I'll pass not big on donuts Can you clear the way please magician Crivens, I didn't even notice a rope bridge there. What can I say? The other 200 things on screen must be distracting me. Maybe with enough stars we can unlock bonus, or could we not? I really shouldn't voice what I don't like on stream, because I seem to make returns to the channel whether I want them or not. But I really don't like mazes. Out of the way, sunshine, I got places to be. Actually, no, how do I get you out of the way? Ah, wait, we went up and around there, did we not? So perhaps this is a waste of time, except we go this way. And arrest that man in purple. the real dastardly Mr. Maze there. I wonder. I wonder if in this game they wanted to call him Mr. Maze, but they ran into copyright issues because of the game Mr. Maze. Ah, that's the rich lore that I want to believe, whether it's true or not. But the game is really linear. I'm barely even controlling the character. For example, I am just holding right, and have been for five seconds, and he's just, well, until we got to here, navigating for himself. Now I can just hold right again. So I don't actually think this is a maze game, I think this is just a collectibles game. Swift as a tiger, Mr. X bounds onto the rooftops, and then, oh, the cad, he planned it all. Mwahaha! Sometimes my intelligence surprises even me! And he escapes into the skies. Pierre, look, up there! Ha ha ha! Hi, you lot down there! Hi, ants! Hi, slugs! All is not lost, says Carmen. I have a friend who builds flying machines. Her name's Coco. She's an adventurer. She travels all over the world. But her HQ is here, somewhere in the city center. We must find it.
Hmm. We're going to be hunting down dogs then. Oh wait, that's nice and easy, surely? Such a lovely, vibrant game, it just could have been maybe better done as any other genre of game. Including the idea of Mr. Mace. Ah, hydrants in the way. How do they pump the water up here? I like that idea of the Mr. Mace though, that'd be my kind of game. I didn't spot that star, I just ran into it. Okay, I believe we have to go up, 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 and away here. Oh, that's gonna be hell on the hands. Right, thank you, colorful trio, for telling me to go up. And the, the music is pretty, pretty good. I don't know what the current term for good music is. Slapping, banging, tonking, I don't know. But it's good. Alright, Doglet. Speak human. You don't speak Jack Russell. No, I don't. Speak to Techel. Oh no, you're just telling me about dog languages again. Right, Jane will find someone with her good nose and she's at the florist. Probably enjoying sniffing things. Come to think of it, I've never known a dog to actually take to sniffing flowers. We humans find all sorts of pleasant smells from flowers, but I've had a lot of dogs and lots of flowers and haven't noticed dogs caring one iota about them. With the exception, of course, of uh, flowers that have been peed on by other dogs. Yeah, those get very interesting, I'm sure. This doesn't seem like the kind of hotel I should be peering through the windows of. No, I, I tried before Chumro. Can't pop those balloons much as I want to. Secret door, you can open up. Oh yeah, Radu. The aesthetic's pretty great. As games go, not so sure. Ooh, this looks even less like a hotel I should be peering through the windows of. This is meant to be a French game. Where's all the nudity? Hold on, are you the dog that I'm after? No, I'm looking for, for you, right? So what's my way down to you? Maybe I can land butt first in the cacti? No. If I could be so lucky. Her mm. mm -hmm. HQ is on the roof of the candy factory. Ooh. I'm liking the verticality of this level. How did you get up there before? Maybe you should be the real maze detective. Or perhaps you just had the address straight up. Okay, how do we make our way up there? Let's get climbing. Yeah, the music and the aesthetic, pretty great.
this is this is if anything a 2D walking simulator. Oh, you're actually going to let me pass? How very nice. Ooh, give me that. It's reverse Santa Claus. Okay, which of these ladders? I'm thinking you. Because then I can go up and down and round. And up to the top of the candy factory we go. We're chasing Mr. X who has flown off. It's probably long gone. Based on Leonardo da Vinci's ornithopter plans, says Coco. And here they are, soaring into the sky. Zigzagging between the hot air balloons, our heroes fly in pursuit of the naughty robber. But Mr. X is laughing to himself. He's hatching another nasty plan. <laughs> what do you say to this? Watch and learn! But the brave detective's cunning is unending. And the villain's balloon crashes on the outskirts of the city. Too bad Mr. X should have summoned the Spring Hawks. Okay, who or what or where am I looking for around here? Oh, whatever it is, it's not down there. I'm an unfinished statue, you're gonna give me away. I don't like being hit at with a chisel, so I ran away. Go to the big kiosk. Mayor's preparing for his big speech, and... Don't tell anyone I told you. Okay. Ah, is that a crashed balloon? Damn. That maze master could be anywhere. But I need to go and talk to the Burger King. I wonder about that, Elliot. How long do you think these would have taken? Do you think it was one person doing it all, or a bunch of artists following the same style? Oh, oh no. Oh no, oh no. Ooh, see no. <laughs> Let's just give up everything else and stay. Oh damn. Just wanted to go gambling. Hang on, are you only letting me through one way? Ah, that's bizarre, but okay. Are you gonna let me through here? And if I try to come back down? You are a real piece of work. Well, at least take the star. Before we finish up with this, we'll have to check the credits and see just how many illustrators were involved in this, because it looks like a whole lot of work. Surely we have some artists in chat who could give some estimates on this. I don't have Lucky to ask, but Lucky takes forever and a day to do anything. How awful, what a fright! I ordered a giant statue of me. But it's Mr. Mays. Right, so that's telling us that that must be you. Also, what are all the flags that we have here? We've got um, Croatia, Austria, Blue Austria, kind of Portugal, 
Spain, Bavaria, Latvia, Germany. Isn't there equivalent adventure in CK3 for this? Your steward orders a statue of themselves. I have never seen such an event, but it might be from a lifestyle choice that I never choose because there are correct lifestyle choices and incorrect choices. Chumra sees a Netherlands flag. The correct Netherlands. That isn't just sideways France. Ooh, I can see for miles here. Public library, book, study, stay, sleep. Sleep? I've done a bunch of things in a library, but I don't think I've ever slept in one. I do like the art style. Certainly something I'd say is underutilized. Hmm. I didn't sculpt that statue of Mr. X. He came to me, but I refused him. He was in too much of a hurry. And a real artist needs time. Wouldn't be surprised if that poltroon Michelangelo said yes. Alright, we'll track you down, you scumbag. Although, where exactly am I? Wait, do you need a hand, buddy? Nah, he's doing fine. He knows what he's about. I'm raking in these stars, so they're meant to be tricky to get. Oh, the ninja won't talk to us if we've already gotten the star. How sad. bit more? Yeah, there we go, go. Oh, we made it all the way over here. What a pretty game. I'm having an easier time looking at this map because it's less animated than the first one. All those wee colourful moving things just wreak havoc on my head. Come on, Anna and Finn. I don't need any more riling up to play Hearts of Iron 4. It's already in my mental schedule. Oh, that's not very nice. This one let me through. Will you let me through? Swath stickers don't make me th make you think of C3. Uh, more like Factorio. Has a fantastic windmill of uh, piece design for building labs. British Railway Empire in Hoi 4. See, I, uh, I made the drunken promise that I would stream Hoi 4. Um, but even that aside, I've been feeling the itch to play some grand strategy, and I'd say in order of my favourites, it would be... Ooh. Well, I mean, EU... I think EU will always be my favourite, it's just that I've played it enough. But I love CK3, it's just that there's nothing left to do in CK3, because there's, there's very little game there. Well, there's a great game, there's just very little content there. But, that aside, Hearts of Iron 4 is one of my favourites of them. So 
so I want to get back into that. Of course, I'm going to have to relearn the game. I haven't touched it in four or five years. What about Imperator? What's that? That's a flag. Which flag is that? Uh, well, it's got Russian colours, so it'll be one of those ex-Russian places. Yeah, like Cuba. <laughs> that giant statue of Mr. X? Of course I did it. Did you like it? I sculpt faster than my own shadow. He challenged me. Hmm. I proved the fastest. So now I have to go and hunt him down in the... F Ooh. Oh, I'd love to play around in something like that. Just trees with nets and uh, bridges between them. Why do they not make like, adult... Mm, what would you even call it? Not playground, but... You know you get those little places for kids, you drop them off and you've got something better to do and it's full of like uh, foamy obstacles for them to charge their way through and nets to climb up and down. Jungle gym, maybe? I don't know what comes to mind with the word jungle gym. But those, but for adults, why don't they exist? Ooh, you're guarding some door with dosh on it. Don't go in, it's a dead end. I need to see that for myself. <laughs> 1990s McDonald's playgrounds. Yeah! I think those went well into the 2000s. I remember seeing a massive one when I was in Florida. Looked great, wanted to give it a go. Don't think I ever could. Probably doing too much as a family for that. Right, down and around we go, go. I think they're built as adult adventure parks. See, when you, when you use adult like that, it sounds like something very different. Oh no. Once again, Pierre is just too late. Mr. X, quick as a hare, plunges into the forest. Abracadabra! Shabam! Pow! Bop! Whiz! Hey, what's up? It stopped working? Yes, here the stone has no effect. Never cast down, Pierre chases the odious baddie into the heart of the magic forest. But he's had a head start. Will our hero manage to get through this mysterious forest? He could work as a scaffolder for the summer. I would get myself killed. Okay, who dares venture into our mystical forest here? Melamine forest, magic, natural, nobody has ever found their way out without moderate effort. That's a good line. I like that. Your soul is troubled. Go and see G Milf the Enchanted. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't say the word enchanted. Makes me think of dominions. I need to have less dominions in my mind, not more. Not until Tyrion finishes his goddamn Mario. Then and only then we have dominions back. Well, I suppose one exception would be if Dominion 6 miraculously releases. Because I will be on top of that. Hey. Hey. <laughs> My biggest enemy moderate effort. <laughs> well, I gotta say this game is real charming. I just wish it was more of a game and less of a walking simulator. Well, if anything, it's more of a toy, right? Because you, you can go to all these things and interact with them, but then they they just make little noises and sounds. Mm. Wait, noises and sounds, that's the same thing. What's the other word I'm looking for? Animations, I suppose. You gonna let me through? Of course not.
He did ask for more maze games at the end of Mr. Maze. He's in- I have no recollection of doing anything of the sort. my bearings here. Where have I come from? Where am I going? Okay. Just see what Mr. X has invented now. You won't believe me. Read it yourself. What do we have here? Hey, it's, it's that outfit again. So, it's, uh, what? You take a board. Okay, cut out tree. Saw it down to one piece of lumber. Turn it into a board. Take a prop up pirate thing, which is a fake. I don't understand the no, no, no thing here. Then it falls over? I don't, I don't get it at all. Clearly, Mr. Maze's brain is far larger than mine. I came, I came from this way. Right, where, where's my head at? Where am I even going here? I've forgotten the the person that I was meant to be going and seeing. The enchanted e gilf, I think. Oh, well, not to worry, that's uh, Mr. X right there. Except I can't get to him. Oh no. Dear. For what purpose do we have this? Okay, A to A, B to B, but not the other B, C to C. I wonder if this D takes me out to that D. No, D to B? How can this be? These maps are huge. Oh, I've just noticed I can scroll also. Nice, when I scroll it tells me what I'm looking for. I forgot that I was looking for a bird. Wait, why am I looking for a bird? I thought I was looking for Egilf. Is Egilf the bird? giant blue pigeons. They're gonna fly me over to Egilf? Oh, well that is cute. And this isn't where I wanted to go, but okay. Oh. Pierre's getting a hell of a workout from going up and down all these ladders. At breakneck speed, no less. I'm Gmilf, the Enchanted. You say it the way it's spelt. Okay. I magically learned that you are looking for the Maze Stone. Apparently Mr. X stole it. I read that in the newspaper. I could tell you where he is in a trice, thanks to my magical powers. But the real maze is inside us. Follow your heart. Um... Thanks. Thanks, dude. I did see him there, but of course I need to find a way to get around these two people that are in the way. Which doubtlessly includes going over there. Alright, I see it all now. Stay calm. Mm. So fast your eyes can't catch up. 
Three somersaults shouldn't s <laughs> Well, too bad. The star is mine. Although what good these stars are, I do not know. Oh, that's the fate. Just like we were told in the message. Meaning we can go down and round to come grab the key. We cannot. So let's, oh man, that looks like so much deadly fun. Too much speed in a corner, you're gonna go over the edge and die. Didn't that happen in the Winter Olympics somewhere? That's what I choose to believe. Verticality we built up. I hope this is the right way. Doesn't feel like the right way, but it feels like the treasure way. It did happen during the 2010 Vancouver Olympics in Canada. Yeah. A lot of very tasteless and yet funny gifts were made out of that. That's nice, takes me all the way up. I wonder if I could have just went through here to get down instead. Out of the way, LARPer. Huh. Well, they won't show me the way twice, it seems. Anything over here? I'd love to bite into those apples, but isn't it forbidden? Mm. Love apples, me. Couldn't be forbidden. Ow. Mr. X has one hell of a Swiss Army knife here. An axe, a chainsaw, a hacksaw... Some scissors, some pretty meaty looking scissors, a match, a pair of glasses, some kind of... T oh, it must be toothpaste. And I assume the toothbrush as well. Unfeasible, but if anyone can do it, Mr. Maze can. <laughs> what? Do that again? God, that looks like the intro to diaper babies. Well, this is the most fun I've had in a cartoonish looking piece of woodland since Click Clock Woods. there, but I'm still taking the star. Alright, I've got you now, Mr. X. Mr. X slips into the haunted manor. Knock, knock. Who's there? Ah, ah, I'm so funny. Sebastian, the manor's owner, awakens a little groggy. His solitude is endless, and he's deeply melancholic. And he's overjoyed when he sees Pierre and Carmen enter the gloomy mansion, too. As long as his eagerness for some friends at last doesn't waste their precious time. Right, all these uh, fighting skellies. This is the Dark Souls of maze games. I don't seem to be putting up much of a fight, though. It's a 
stark contrast to our time in the woods. All right, Sebastian, what can I do you for? Delighted to welcome you, dismal atmosphere. It's been 400 years since anyone visited. I'm not so sure about that. There's a lot of other people here already. Come drink tea with me, I'll tell you everything. But you've got plenty of time. You young people are always in such a hurry. Mr. X is not going to fly off. Wait, did you just fly off with Carmen there? Carmen just... Yeah, there we go. Carmen gets a free ride and I don't... And she gets the cake? Pierre's having to do all the leg work here. Hey. I wonder if it's possible to get the full-sized, potentially animated versions of these. Because the maps are big. I can't zoom out entirely here, which is a shame. This is the limit of what you can zoom out. Okay, let's, let's go and find them. Let's get our slice of the cake. Oh my. Is that Dione in his casual gear? Stop provoking me with your red cape. Well, uh... Wait, I'm not wearing a cape. <laughs> what is he on about with there haven't been anybody here in 400 years? There are tons of people here. So the illustration was done by a small Japanese illustration studio called IC4 Design. From the looks of their website, they specialize in this, uh, this style. It's really cool. Well, that would make me wonder what else they've produced art for. Because I'd love to see the style in more games. Well, more games with gameplay. This spooky ghost is going to stop me, isn't it? Yeah, figures. Yeah, nobody wants to let me past. Okay, I probably have to go way down and around and up through Athena and her spear. Is this going to come down? Mm, no. Then I gotta go even further round and down. Mm. Iron Maiden, bringing back all sorts of memories of watching Wooden Hollow. Terrifying stuff. running the gauntlet here. Couldn't have just kicked in those ghosts and made my way past. Papa punished me because I bit everyone. What are you, Monica? Hey. Even if I went past you, that looks dead-endish, so up and over we go. Hey. Oh, hello, Death. I wasn't told it was fancy dre- uh, okay. Some of the LARPers are here. It's me, G Milf the Enchanted. Came to warn you about Sebastian. He's a vampire, but he's harmless. So which part of that's the warning? Alright. There's a star to be had there. Heavens knows how to get to that, though. I was wondering why people held IC4 signs in the carnival. Ooh, very subtle way of marketing themselves, that. As clever as it is subtle.
The manor is alive. It changes when I move. You get used to it. I'm not sure he's doing that to Carmen. I think Carmen just has these powers all along. She's also got hearts in her eyes. I think she's infatuated with Sebastian. She's after that old money. Right, so, achievement unlocked walking sim. What is that achievement? Walk 10,000 steps. About a third of the players have this achievement. So two thirds of people gave up before they made that many steps. It's not a very fair way to put it. Many achievement uh, percentages are quite low. For all sorts of games. Richt. So, if I can get past all of this, where can I go? Up and back round, perhaps? Yeah, it wasn't a rhetorical question if the IA4C or IC4 people have done more games. I'd be quite interested in checking them out. Everyone keeps yelling hey at me though, I'm not a horse. I fear I'm backtracking too much. I can't think of any other level that's had so much back- Ah, this wasn't open up before. There we go, go. Up so daisy to my star. It doesn't really list projects they've done, just samples of their work. Hmm. All the information must be somewhere, right? Whoa, Krivens, what are you doing out here? Just having fun? Aren't we all? <laughs> it was, wasn't a real chest. Damn it all. Sad looking guy, probably because he wields two weapons and doesn't have the ambidextrous trait. Down and around here before. Uh oh, I'm being blocked at every turn here. our way through here. Hey. Hello, Genie. Right, step aside. We're taking our girl Carmen back. gone too far now. Break out the garlic bread. Uh, well, how am I meant to get over there, actually? Can I pan the map at all? No, no, I cannot. Hmm. This does get me back up and around, but what are my other options? Monkey breath here is just breaking everything. Can I go through here? Okay, so there's one real one I suppose I need to keep track of the real one. It's it's still you, of course.
And probably the last one, because I can't see them fitting more of these on. Surprising how much easier this is when you can have a mouse cursor on the... Uh, whoa, whoa, speeding all around, but I still know it's you. And we're too damn good. What's my prize? Uh, I hope that's made of gold. They've forgotten about finding Mr. X. The game is now about Pierre trying to get his girlfriend back. That's how it's going right now. Wait, is this star? No, star's still blocking the way. Then perhaps I have to go up here? Now you block my way. Won't anyone let me through? How about you? Very nice. I thought she was his sister. Was it mentioned before? Ooh, we do get a discount now. On a Hoover. I think he wants to suck up ghosts to use in one of his little... What would he call those things? You shake them around. Snow globe. A dastardly plan befitting of... Mr. Maze. Am I going down or up? Let's try down. No cake for us, sadly. Oof, dangerous. Just gonna get out of my way? Of course not. Watch out, Jake, the next level's Inferno. No, please. Spare me, Mr. Maze. Aww. Alright, we're almost there. Looks like I went all the way around for a whole lot of not much. Can I get my way through here? I've seen you before. Damn, all these dancing couples are in the way. I think I need to go up and around past uh, Cerberus. Where's the Mr. Maisie? But well, maybe, just maybe. I don't want to be reminded of Mr. Maze on my own channel. But maybe that's just nonsense. Okay, clearly the way is up and around over there. Hey. Sebastian regretfully lets his new friends leave. His only friends. Outside, a new surprise awaits. Mr. X's henchmen, his horrible minions, are barring the way. They don't look friendly, and they are not friendly. But Carmen isn't worried. Hey, guys, do you like apples? Oh, yes, yum, scrummy, scrunch, scrunch. This diversion gives Pierre time to rush after Mr. X towards the forgotten city, the city that no longer has a name. But time is pressing, because the ruffian is already far away. You don't need to imagine, Dissident. He looks like the first thing you think of when you think of Smash Player. Right, finally made it out of the forest and the forest mansion, and where are we into now? Wow, that's... that is painfully colourful. Right, let's enter the suspicious memory hole. Well, not that we know, Spangler. Right, through we go. Hmm, 
so I suppose I need to get up to you. Probably via that ladder. Joke. I don't remember the punchline. Mm -hmm. Hold on, can I still enter the doors around here? No. Navigation in this game is a little bit tricky. Again, I'm just holding up and down. Up, down. I can't really go side to side. This game is a very linear, predefined area that you could be wandering around on. Even here. That's up, that's down. Up, down. Left, right. Okay. Still all very cute. Oh, are you going to move along? Can I ride you? You're going to crash, aren't you? <laughs> oh, that's very cute and charming. Well, you say go there, but what I'm thinking is go here. Crashing that boat put me in mind of Calvin and Hobbes when Calvin crashes his dad's car right into the ditch and Hobbes says, what do you think a car like this costs? I'd say at least 75 bucks. Was that when he decided to go off to, e to the Yukon? No, I think that was something different. I've, I've got all the Calvin and Hobbes stuff. I should, uh, I should reread it. Okay, I'll just let this guy go, and away I go. It's the closest thing we've had to a puzzle all game. I don't think I should have gone this way. I have gone the wrong way. Uh, better be something worth my while here. Probably... Ooh, I don't know, actually. No, no, I don't think there was anything particularly worth my while. I should have continued on the other way. Ah, Yukon, another word. Another word that's been ruined by rise of industry. I wanted more out of that game than that game could give me. small here. There we go. <laughs> like tenor. I'm not sure if... No, see the thing is, tenor was part of the successful part of playing Rise of Tindustry. In fact, it's what gave me confidence that the game would be able to manage it, because uh, all that stuff I built up for the tenor and the game was still running quite well. Didn't expect it to break apart at the seams as much as it did. Now I can come down here, I imagine. Wait, doing that only got me a star. It's hardly worth anyone's time. Still, I need to get past you and proceed over. Wait a minute. We've been here and done this. So where am I meant to go? Where's that memory hole guy? He's over there. Hey Jake, first time hopping in on your stream. I was watching Frostpunk Extreme. Help me learn the ropes. Just beat the first scenario in extreme mode. It was kind of easy, not gonna lie. 
Well, the thing about the first scenario, A New Home, is that it's designed to be very difficult to lose on. But it's also designed to make you feel like you're going to lose at any moment. So to that extent, you to that extent you got the intended experience out of that one. Now, if you go and play something like Refugees or The Fall of Winter Home, you're probably not going to come away saying "kind of easy." What I'm coming away saying though is, where the heck am I meant to go? Oh yeah, games that don't fall apart when you push them to their limit. Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, Open Transport Tycoon, Factorio. Factorio will eventually die, but it takes a lot to get there. You gonna you gonna step out of my way? Okay, there must be Oh, I see it all now. I didn't even notice little this little path that I could walk down there. Right. Once more around we go. I can't even beat uh, Refugees on Hard, Small Brain. I don't think I've ever played the game on Hard. Once I did it on Normal, I was like, okay, onwards to Extreme we go. I don't understand people that, for example, play State of Decay on Dread Zone. It's lethal or bust. That's where, they, that's where the fun is. But that's just my idea of fun. Is there any capable... Is there any capability to make custom maps in Frostpunk? Nope. The game is not really open for modding at all. When the game was first being announced, they did announce modding tools for the game, but those did not materialize at all, much to my immense disappointment. And I think they shot themselves in the foot with that one. Frostpunk could still be a very much alive and thriving game, but there's very little replay value to it. As a development team, they didn't even want to make Endless Mode. They only made Endless Mode because there was uh, demand for it. They didn't They didn't want to. It wasn't part of what they wanted to craft. They were more about making stories and experiences. Which makes it all the more baffling that they stumbled into making such an excellent game. Now, from my point of view, at least, I gather some people like these kinds of story-driven experiences. I don't. Still, if, there, if they had made some sort of modding support or modding tools for that game, I think I could single-handedly keep that game alive. <laughs> I wouldn't stream games anymore, I'd stream me making mods for Frostpunk. And it would be great. Probably. Are you going to let me through? No, of course not. Nasty henchman of his. Ah, I saw that. Where do you go? Mm, nowhere. Okay, finally made it to the big hole. Is somebody there? I'm trapped in my memory hole. I'm the former king, but no one remembers it. Since the dragon took power, they've forgotten about me. Yes, it was a dragon. Or maybe a panda. Or a big dog. Stole everyone's memories. Okay, where are they? I'll hunt them down for you. Mm hmm. <laughs> Next to Hotel Dragon. Okay, I'm on the case. No, if it was vent as well, it would be dead already. No way past here, is it just barrels? How about the door? No? Then why even come down here? Oh, that's anyone's guess. Up and over we go then. Is this the frost punk of Find Wally games? Uh, no. 
Not nearly enough deep moral choices to be had in this game. Hey. You there, wizard friend. Point the way. Well, that's not particularly helpful, but okay. He wanted to trick me into going that way, but no, I see through his lies. This is the way forward. Nice and view and all, but how do I get to any of these places? Hold on, I see it now. I almost didn't see it, but I do now. I'm gonna let you go that way, and then over goes Pierre. There's just no beating this guy, except I'm beaten. No, no I'm not, because I can continue to go around here. Leave that like a brilliant tapestry, Pierre. I've totally forgotten why I climbed on this roof. But the goal doesn't matter, it's the journey that counts. Ah, it's some good positivity. It's what people need more of in their lives. Alright, Dragon Breath, where is Mr. Maze? I know where he is, but if you want me to tell you, he's on the dock. You must first answer a riddle. Oh, rat's too late. Now I'll take the riddle. I like riddles. Ah. Carmen has beaten us to Mr. X again, and seems to be strong enough to fight over the maze tablet with him. Hey. Yeah, we did see him on the boat in the cutscene already, so... Should be no big surprise. Oh, drat. People are in my way. I need a way up and around. Fortunately, I think we can puzzle that one out. Upsy daisy. rich lore inside these things. Oh, it's his game of, um, well, it's not so much snakes and ladders, although there are snakes and, well, there's snake and ladder, but there's also teeth, a hat, a cake, some glasses, blank squares. What in the world is he trying to make us play here? Is there any strategy at all to snakes and ladders? There's no agency to the game at all, is there? Could you just roll the dice and see what happens? I didn't play a lot of Snakes and Ladders, probably for that very reason. A little on the nose there. Oh, shiitake mushrooms, the tomatoes. I thought there was an ingredient missing. No, don't say it. Oh. I don't even know what game that line is from, but I've heard it far too many times. Probably Skyrim. There we go, Dissident is saying that yeah, it is Skyrim. Achievement unlocked. Sink Mr. X. I don't know, I think I threw that rock in there a little too early then. Yeah, Skyrim is where that My Ancestors Are Smiling Upon Me Imperials line is from, so go and figure it's also where uh, Arrow to the Knee is from. Is 
sounds very painful. Arrow to the knee. There's a lot of pain receptors in the knee. Snakes and Ladders is a game to learn how to play games, taking turns, reading dice, following rules, not getting too salty when losing, etc. Salty. I do not like the word salty. It's a synonym for being childish, but people use it without the slightest hint of uh, self-reflection. Not a fan. But maybe I'm just salty about the word. Right, you get out of my way, and onwards and upwards and downwards. Let's go and oh my, still a bit of still a bit of loop de looping to do before we can take on Mr. Maze. Jake, do you not get salty? Uh, not as far as I'm aware. See? Cute, pointless things like that. I like it. I'd like it more if there's a bit more of a game to this, but we can't have everything. I know you, you're that famous defective. But before, you're some kind of great mouse with big ears, right? Is that, is that a reference to something? Possibly. <laughs> Heldon gets mad salty. It must be a cup of salt, right? Swift as a salmon, Mr. X plunges through the waves and waylays his opponents. Landlubbers, mollusks, you'll never catch me! Watch out, Pierre, straight ahead! Our heroes are in a bad way. We're losing it. We're going to capsize. I'm the best. Did you doubt it? I'm incredible. <laughs> Get it? Ink? Octopus? Ah, I'm just too classy. When Pierre and Carmen reach the port, Mr. X has already disappeared into the docks. Okay. Mm -hmm. Don't suppose there's a how long to beat number on this game, is there? We're the famous maze expert, Mr. X. Oh, how very nice. He's actually giving us a, a map of the place. It's a joke. He must be laughing at you. When he landed, he looked like he was struggling not to burst into giggles. Then he ran over to the fishmongers. Oh, thanks for telling me. The fishmongers, where I get all my drugs and cigars. Five and a half hours? Oh, jeez. Getting queasy at the thought. Another fresh delivery that he read because he was bored. Mr. X's minions are getting more and more sophisticated. How so? Mm -hmm. Is that meant to be writing I can read? Because I cannot read it. So when they're talking to each other, you can pass between them, but not on the sides that they block. Okay. Do we have any that we can test ourselves out on, then? <laughs> the worst looking docks ever. Yeah, for one, how do you park your boat here? Or here, for that matter? <laughs> it's locked in. It's like a roller coaster tycoon boat uh, boat ride area. Hey. 
Whoa, what was that all about? I don't even know where he jumped from. Alright, can the drunken sailor get out of our way? That's a no- <laughs> That's a- Ah, uh, okay, well thanks for the direction, but how am I meant to get there if he's blocking the way? No, 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 no. Can I get past you? Yeah, because you're looking that way. Sophisticated. The X Star. Ah, another one of uh, Mr. Maze's nefarious schemes, I'm sure. Can't even steal his boat. Nor can I sound that horn. Can I go for a swim? No. Right, so these two are talking, and they'll back away for me to pass through in a line. A line. But you can't... You can't say go that way. Okay, so his sophisticated henchmen are people too busy talking to give a hoot about Pierre here. So the whole thing is to make little X shapes through them, I assume. Hmm, I can't seem to go through and around here at all. Meaning I probably need to approach you from that way. Well, I'll get right on it. Hmm? Not only are we lost, someone's stolen all our clothes as well. What? That would be a terrific prank to play on someone. Just steal all their clothes. Hmm. I gotta try that next time. Even better if they have to go somewhere like work. You just say, oh, oh I, I thought I'd do you a favor while you were sleeping and wash all your clothes, but they're, um, they're still all wet and not here. Hey. 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 Muggling seawater, don't tell, that's probably a crime somewhere. Okay, out of my way, let me through. I gotta go and check out the fishmonger drugstore. We just missed Mr. X, and if you want my opinion considering wind speed and temperature, he couldn't have gone very far. And we need to speak to a sardine back down on the docks. Jake, worst roommate confirmed. Oh, yeah. A buddy of mine was taking too long using the washing machine, or rather he left all of his clothes in the washing machine, so I just dumped them on top of his bed, soaked his bed right the way through with his wet clothes. He was very, very unhappy. And that's very unfortunate for him. Alright, let's make a great sign here. Oh, that's devilish. Uh, that's more than a little devilish. I still need something that turns you around as well, though. Hey! Oh, that does look good. Can I undo it? No, no, I can't. I cannot break what I have fixed, sadly. He should have been more positive. Well, he should have learnt, oh, maybe leaving all my clothes in the washing machine is not a good thing to do. But it's been like 12 years since and he's uh, still lives his life that way.
Right, I'm, I'm meant to be going and seeing Seagull down on the beach, right? Or was it Salmon? I think it was Salmon. Let's make our way. Wait, I'm meant to go up there? Mm, part of me doesn't believe that, but I'll give it a quick check since I'm closer. He's learned that being in the same building as Jake... Ah, there we go. They were blocking the way, but they'll let me through. Being in the same building as Jake is not a good thing to do. It's a fine thing to do. Well, I suppose it depends on perspective. Most things do. This game certainly relies on perspective a lot. They've got ogres on chains around here. Kind of a sick and twisted game. So, to make the ultimate gumbo, you need 200 grams of fish, two pieces of crab, 150 g's of flounder, 150 grams times 20 of prawns. Maybe it's 20 of those amounting to 150. 20 clams, 6 bay leaves, half a lemon, 3 pieces of some kind of fish, 5 tomatoes, 8 mushrooms, 4 lobsters, 6 carrots. I don't know what those are meant to be, but they're bad for his heart. 1 hour and 45 minutes on gas mark 3. It's going to be exceptionally fishy. Mr. X is prowling about. The docks are super sketchy. Always have been. Right, let's get on the case. Out of my way. Whoa, I've seen that movie. What do you need, Sardine? I'm just bathing. He started dumping buckets of water into the sea. It was getting far too moist. Where'd he go? I didn't pay attention. Ask the Coast Guards. Oh, where are they at? There they're at. A lot of people to talk to around here. Alright, let's get on the case. I just spotted the related book series, says Ninjin. The related book series? Step aside, sophisticated guards there. I got places to be. Oh, but not through you. anyone build ships and bottles? Well, I did not. You gonna roll this out of the way? No. Darn it, where's no clip mode? from here then. You won't let me up past there. Perhaps you can give me a devilish clue? Hey, you still insist that I go up that way? What if I don't want to? Because I don't want to. Don't let me pass back here, but... You block my way here. Maybe I needed to go around some other way? I can still go back up this way, right? No, that's where the star was. 
curse all this layered perspective. Coming up here benefits me at all. Still blocked on that side. Mm. <laughs> Maintenance monkey hard at work, but the pipes are blowing. Is this, uh, is this what that engineering degree is all about? Some way round and down. That would certainly be down, but would it be round enough? Can I even get all the way over there? I think you already spoke to me, didn't you? Yeah, you tell me to go down there, but I'm not sure I believe that. I'm wondering if I can't go around here, behind you. Down through here? Achievement unlocked, just to be sure. What is that achievement? And where is Steam? There we go. Lock yourself behind the door that leads nowhere. Well, I am sure now. A door that leads nowhere because of Mr. X. No, that door always led nowhere. Prophetic. I was hoping it would down warp me a bit. I was hoping to get over there, but maybe this stuff opens up after I talk to the coast guards. But I've been having a not so great time finding them. Where I've been before, though, went past you. Hey. I couldn't. Well, you're the guy I talked to. Hey. Talked to that said go speak to the coast guards. Ah, Mr. X's boat can turn into a submarine. I bet he's not here at all. Hey. You already went hey. uh, under the waves. Oh, I've actually got all the pieces of paper this time. Won't be fooled by you telling me to go that way. I will instead find my own way. This is new. This is good. Hey. The maze stone changed the entire reef. Such a bright and twisty coral. I wouldn't mind playing some more Subnautica someday. Right, there's the Coast Guard. Out of my way, they won't get out of my way, so I need to approach them from here. Down, up, then through to there. That's the only way I can see. Unless I smash through you. And I like the sound of that. Smash through. Perhaps up and down? A daisy. Oh, looking good. Looking well. <laughs> Is this Waldo with golf commentary? Not far off. Suspicious individual unable to arrest him for technical reasons. He was running too fast. I'm on the case then. Yeah, lots of people to talk to. Who the heck is that? Oh, it's... Weird, almost naked guy. Right. Right, I can probably smash my way through this thing. And proceed... Oh! Ho, 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 ho. Nice way to open it up. 
But that should mean it's very quick and easy to get to you, because I just need to go up and over, right? Or am I about to find that I'm blocked? I am blocked. How can this be? You're not going to casually step aside, are you? No. It's alright, I have other options. Do I? Yeah, I gather I need to go up there, but how do I get to there? Also, where does that lead? Ah, I see. I need to board the Black Marine, which means I need to approach from this end, which probably necessitates going way down and round over there. So, down and round we go. Is there something on that barrel? Puzzling senses tell me there's something here, but my common senses tell me to get a move on. probably sentencing him to death. Right, Black Marine. Being stuck at sea is no joke. Down by the water side, the fisher folk bide, selling haddock and eels that they catch in their creek. Yeah. Don't quit your day job. Right, Robinson's cruise ship. Mr. X offered to buy my raft. But I refused. A brand new raft, all the mod cons. Put all my savings into it. Planning for weeks. Ready to set out. Album Mr. X. Ah, oh, we passed by the train. Oh, wait, this is a different train. Oh, he's got his own Mr. Maze branded train. With a purple saltire on top. Right, let's go and track him down. Goose is cooked, Mr. Maze. Although I'm not sure if I'm on the right side of the anything to be talking to you. Nope. Pierre here's got brittle bones, he can't jump down. Okay, another way around then. Hey. Right, are we gonna give chase on this thing? I see it's no good being in a hurry with you. You don't exactly want to have a train to catch or something. Excuse me, I do have a train to catch, and off you trot. There's a hectic chase. Mr. X's train races off like a mad horse. Pierre and Carmen keep up, despite the pace, the bend, the ravines. Where does the track lead? Where does the line end? In the infamous underground market. The hub of the underworld, where you can also get good deals sometimes. Okay, we're not going to find out what kind of good deals we can get around here, because that's quite enough Labyrinth City for one lifetime. Ah. Uh, <laughs> you know, Kiji was pretty torturous in its own ways, but this one... Oh, very cute. Great to look at. Pretty, uh... Pretty abysmal to play. I mean, great fun to look at, but this could have been anything else. Just not a maze, and it would have been just fine. Like, uh, like that hidden folks game, right? That would be good. But this, it's no good, no good at all. 
In any case, that does it for our Patreon games today. There's going to be another couple tomorrow. And of course, I'm a Yui in the evenings. I say of course, despite it being one of the more missed streams around here. But we will be back with Ama Yui in about an hour or so after I rustle up something for dinner. So until then, it is a cheers from me, and I suppose from Asher as well, who's in chat, who brought these games here today. And a cheerio.